we're looking for some high-end finds at Hobby Lobby. Then, after we do a little shopping, we're gonna head back here to my place and I'm gonna show you how I style what I got. One of my favorite things to do is have you guys come along and decorate with me. All right, let's get into it. All right, as I pull up at my local Hobby Lobby, one of the first areas I always head to is their trays. The prices on their trays are always fantastic when it's the week that they're doing the 50% off. This very large wooden tray has always caught my eye. And at $21.99 with 50% off, so what is that? Not even $11? fantastic finds. This little tray right here is one that I have shown many times in my home and I'm going to show you today a really fun idea and it's perfect for decorating and entertaining. As we head to check out the rest of these trays and different items, Keep in mind that at Hobby Lobby, you alternate back and forth on the weeks that things are on sale. So if you have something that's a tray and it's not on sale for 50% off, always wait until the next week. Now this tray right here, I thought is very nice and high end because it has a pop of black. You guys know I always say a pop of black, it looks classy. One thing that Hobby Lobby is known for is their artwork but they've recently stepped up their game and have a lot more vintage looking pieces that have really caught my eye, along with tapestries and things of that nature. This wall decor panel is so beautiful and I could just totally see this. This would look stunning, hanging in like a guest bedroom, a bathroom. I really think that these are some great finds that you should keep your eye out for. If these are the type of videos that you enjoy, definitely make sure you're subscribed. And to support my channel, hit that thumbs up button. It lets YouTube know you're enjoying what you're watching. Thank you so much. This bench deserves a moment of its own at $48.99 compared to the one at Pottery Barn for $159. You cannot beat this. What an awesome high-end find. And then on top of that, these thin benches that are all the rage right now, they are very expensive at other stores. For here at Hobby Lobby, this one was only $59.49, when in comparison to $350 and above. Now I am such a sucker for anything that talks about home being like the best place in the world, because you guys know my saying, home is my favorite place to be. Let's switch gears and head here to the vase aisle. Oh, look at this blue. I'm gonna give you a little hint. This guy's coming home with me. The thing I love about Hobby Lobby and all their vases is they have quite the selection and with a lot of texture and detail, whether you go more vintage or more modern, they have something for everyone. And at 50% off, you just cannot beat that. Okay, this might seem like an odd find, but pay attention to Hobby Lobby's paper goods. They are very upscale and nice looking. One of the things I love about the Hobby Lobby frames is so you can get something truly unique. The architectural detail that you can get on some of these really makes it stand out and seem high end. But on top of that, I love these rustic wood frames. They just really add a little character, a little extra something to your decor. Hobby Lobby has also stepped up their game with serving items, which can really give you an elegant look for if you're hosting a gathering or just for everyday use. They even now have dishes that are just really pleasing to anyone, meaning they have quite a few different styles, whether you want something more matte or glossy, something more ornate. Definitely check out their items. You can really set a beautiful, elegant tablescape. Okay, we are back from Hobby Lobby. I can't wait to share with you guys what I got and how I style it. 
But now that I'm home, before we get into that, I'm gonna do something that I absolutely love to do. One of my favorite things to do after I've had a crazy day or a lot of running around and I need a little me time is I love to sit down and play June's Journey. You guys know I've talked about June's Journey for quite a long time and it is something that I absolutely enjoy playing. It is a hidden object murder mystery game. <laughs> I have been on quite the adventures with June. So I am quite a bit up there. I love to just play this on my phone you can also play this on an Android, an iOS, or Facebook games. You can play it on all of those. I am on level 102. Woohoo! <laughs> it's so fun because I can build my mansion, my gardens, and go find the hidden objects in the most beautiful graphics. The graphics are so gorgeous. One of the things that drew me to June's journey was honestly how beautiful it is. Just, you're in the 1920s. I just love all the decor that's in the different rooms where you're finding the objects. By finding the hidden objects, I'm using my memory and it's really good for it because, you know, I'm I'm working a part of my brain that I'm not working all the time, but in a really fun way. So if you like to have a little bit of me time and relax and unwind and have a lot of fun, then definitely click the link in the description box for your free download of June's Journey or scan my QR code. And a big thank you to June's Journey for sponsoring today's video. One of the reasons I chose this large tray is because I have a large floral piece that I've been wanting to set on my island and it needed something, you know, substantial in order for it to sit on. But also, let's take a moment to talk a little bit about the different stems and flowers and everything that you can find at Hobby Lobby. From different wreaths to different, just all kinds of branches. There's so many different options. It's one of my favorite places to get these type of items because they're so inexpensive. It's so fun to get a little riser, put a wreath around it, put something adorable in the middle, you know me, add some beads, and you have a complete centerpiece that did not break the bank. Something else is that this large tray can actually be functional. I used it for a movie night. I mean, this tray can hold the maximum amount of snacks. Now here, I wanna give you a different and fun idea, and you can maybe use this if you're hosting for Easter and you don't want to have to do dishes and that type of thing. Take the tray and use it as the things that you're going to put you know, your paper plates, your napkins, your silverware. And then you can even dress it up because we all know that Hobby Lobby has the most adorable cow pictures. I'm such a sucker for the Scottish Highland cows. But then you could just put this over on your countertop. People can come through, pick up their plates, their napkins, and then head on down the line through the buffet. It's a classy way, it looks fantastic, and you can't go wrong. I love the colors for spring. This looks so pretty. Now, if you've been following along, I have been talking about decorating tiered trays for quite some time. This past year, I purchased a little kit over off of Amazon to kind of just help make it easy. And it came with this little ladder and then a few other pieces that you're going to see. But this tray from Hobby Lobby fits this little ladder perfectly. And so it has become my go-to for my tiered tray decorating. I will leave a link down below if you want to check out the tiered tray decorating kit on Amazon. So many options to change it for holidays and seasons. You add in their items, which is like the little pictures. And then I just always add in a little bit of my own stuff, some beads, some greenery, and it always turns out adorable. And of course, just like the other tray, this tray is great for serving, you know, dessert items if you're having a gathering. So not only is it great for decorating, it can also be functional and serve as a great serving piece.
Now here's that rustic wood frame and I was looking for something for my special photo here and I thought that this would go so well together. And then of course, the little book stack that says the thing about home is my happy place. How adorable is that sitting next to a picture of my home? And then I didn't showcase this in the store, but we kind of talked earlier about how the florals and everything at Hobby Lobby are great. This is one of my favorite pieces of greenery that I always get at Hobby Lobby. It's so great because it just drapes so naturally and looks so high end. Okay, I had to get the blue vase. One, the color of this vase is so stunning. And then beautiful spring flowers that they have out at Hobby Lobby now. And then I thought it would also be super adorable if I wanted to use this in on my island with fresh flowers. I mean, there's really a lot of options to use this vase with. And I just love the handle and the detail on it. It looks so lovely and is exactly what I wanted for my home. I don't know about you, but that was a lot of fun for me. I love decorating with you guys. Don't forget to check out June's journey. The link is down in the description box. We'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.